Ahoy hoy, how you doing? Oh wait, I forgot how I was gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. Ahoy hoy, Joe Neat here. I'm posting Jesse Tattoo's captain's log today. Har har. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing, everybody? It's funny that me, Joe Neat, sounds like Jesse Tattoo a lot. Isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? Maybe it's the birthday shenanigans. And look, I'm even wearing a hoodie. I'm not Jesse Tattoo. <laughs> Heck, Jesse Tattoo wears that, that vest and stuff. Although I talk like Jesse Tattoo, that's pretty funny. All right, here. How you doing today, folks? How you doing? <laughs> you just joined, and this is what you see. Yes, Joe Neat, hosting today's Captain's Log. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought this was pretty funny. I think it's funny. I'm going to do this for a little bit of it today. How you doing, folks? I'm going to let you all gather around, gather around, make sure your grog is full, all that kind of stuff. And we got some serious, serious talking to do today. I'm a little out of sorts. I'll be honest, it's freezing cold in my apartment. I left the window wide open last night, and it is not winter, or it is not summer yet. And uh, I'm wearing a frickin' hoodie, because I'm cold. And, because I'm Joe Neat today, I'm drinking a little bit of tea. Ah, here we go, a little tea. Hold on, I gotta get my pinky up, hold on. Ah, there we go, there we go. Uh, that's how we do it, right? <laughs> I gotta figure out how to make this thing track on my head. If I can figure out how to get this thing to track on my head when I move around a little bit, it'll be so much funner. <laughs> anyway, enough of the Joe Neat joke for now. Um, <laughs> I'll bring that gag back in some manner. I just wanted to give it a test drive, and I thought it was pretty funny. No, you're not late. I'm literally just getting started. How you doing today, folks? How you doing? Happy birthday, Rare. Happy birthday, Sea of Thieves. And happy birthday to most of you pirates. A lot of you pirates have been here for a year. A lot of you have been here for a year. And those who haven't, hey, happy birthday anyway, man. It's, it's, it's all about everybody. It's not really picking and choosing who's been here for a month or who's been here for freaking a year. At any rate, as you know, today is the Mega Day. It's the Mega Update Patch video trailer thing it's the birthday of sea of thieves holy crap i got some crosshairs over on my thing there we go i got rid of those there's a lot going on where's the birthday song um i actually deleted it i i did it last time and too many people thought it was cringy so i didn't i didn't bring it back <laughs> i had this old man singing happy birthday and he was laughing so hard i thought he was hilarious but nobody else liked him actually hold on a second hold on a second it might, it might still exist. Let me see here. I doubt. If it, if it exists, I'll play it. If not, then you guys are out, out of luck. It'd be, um, birthday or something? No, I delete. It's gone. It's gone. Sorry. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. Whoop-dee-doo, whoop-dee-doo. Open up your present. Open up your present. It's just for you. <laughs> If you guys are an old Garfield and friends, you know Binky the Clown, and you know what the heck I'm talking about. Okay, so, we actually got some things to do. I'm not just here to talk about, just to randomly talk about, and I am sorry about this. For people who are just tuning in, I normally dress like a pirate. I left my window open, and it's freaking freezing here on the open seas today, and I'm just, and, and it's cold. So I'm just wearing a hoodie today because I got stuff to do, and, uh, and I wanted to come in here and do this today. So how you doing? How you doing? Can we talk about fishing now? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got an order to my things. Let me get in. Let me get into the meat of it. Hold on. First off, I want to say one thing that blows my mind. If you haven't seen um, Falcor's happy birthday video, make sure you go check that out. There's a little video from me in there. Pretty freaking funny. Um, and some really good creators. Um, moreover. What I want to talk about for a quick second here is the fact that you guys, Sea of Thieves fan base, the, the community, 
is mind-blowing. No other game on the planet. You you guys show me another game that does this. What other game where do the fans make presents for the developers at their first year after launch? Nobody does that. No games do that. No games have the 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 player base do happy birthday celebrations because the game is a year old. This is weird. I mean, I love it, but it's weird. Right? Am I wrong? Is that not bizarre? I am going to get into everything about everything in just a moment. I wanted to talk about things in order. Okay. First order of business. I know people are in chat are going to be a little cranky about this, but I got to go over patch notes. I go over patch notes, and then I'll go over the video, okay? I know you guys are freaking just itching to get into that video, so let's get this patch notes out of the freaking way as quick as humanly possible. So let's just start up with that right now. Um, I'm still organizing my desk here, so that is what's going on. So, patch notes. 1.4.5. Um, I am going to uh, correlate a lot of this and just try to rip through it as quick as I can here. Um, and I gotta make it bigger because I can't read it. Hold on. Bah. There we go. Okay. So, new and more mercenary voyages. People seem to like these, uh, uh, these mercenary voyages, man. And Rare is listening. People really seem to like them. So, we got new Reaper ones. I'm gonna say yay. I honestly didn't like the last Reaper rewards. I thought it looked like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. Wasn't a fan. Wasn't a fan. I found it very difficult. I tried a couple times and got sunk. Meh. I just didn't want to do it five times in a row for those ugly sales. But that's just me. If you guys did it, good for you. Um, I, I had a lot of. I seen a lot of people really in liking it. Anyway, Reapers Run at Shipwreck Bay. So we got a brand new Reapers Run challenge. Um, where? Hold on a second. I got. Uh, I got pictures. Hold on. Where are they? Um, Reaper map. There we go. Okay. So, uh, there is a brand new Reaper's Run Shipwreck Bay challenge. There's another Reaper's Mark challenge. Looking for another challenge? Equip your Reaper's Mark. Set sail to rival... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Shipwreck Bay. Okay, they're just talking about that again. There's a couple of different... So, instead of... Uh, it was like Wanderer's Refuge. Now it's Shipwreck. Weird. I was there last night. Me and my mate dug up uh, five chests on there. And a skeleton, we call them scallions, skeleton galleons. Um, the scallion beached itself. And uh, I got on board. I got a, a, a keg of grogs and jumped off just as they killed me. And then the ship despawned. But I got the keg off and we came back and got it. The, the, the keg of grogs. Okay, so. Uh, mercenary voyages in the Devil's Roar and the Shores of Plenty. So we got... Mercenary voyages all around. You get a mercenary voyage. You get a mercenary voyage. You get a mercenary voyage. Chuck under your seat. There's a mercenary voyage. Uh, also, gilded mercenary voyages of legends. So, um, it's like a gilded, uh, a, a gilded Athena's voyage. That's new. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's Shark Bait Cove on the map. Wait a minute. What does it say though? What did I say? Yeah, it says shipwreck. It says shipwreck bay, but that is shark bait cove. You're right. That's the picture off the freaking rares website, man. I didn't do that. You are very correct, though. That is really weird. Um, I wonder if there's a typo. That's that's. Hmm. I wonder what it is. You guys are gonna have to tell me in game. I don't know. I haven't been in. I haven't logged on. I literally just woke up, made myself a freaking teacup full of grog, ah, and away we go. Okay, so happy anniversary. One year celebration items at the shop to celebrate our first year. Players can purchase two exclusive cosmetics for a very limited time. You get a golden sailor's hat and some golden cannons for for a weird 320 gold each. I don't understand that number. I don't quite know what the 320 is. It 320 days, maybe? I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. 320 gold. That's it. Uh, one year pirate legendary rewards. Finally. People have been asking about this, man. We got golden hurdy-gurdy, golden blunderbuss, golden legendary sails, 
a golden legendary hull, a golden legendary figurehead, and a golden legendary outhouse or something. What was that? Okay. Hurdy gurdy. Oh, and a tanker. That's what it was. I missed the first one. The tanker for drinking your grog. There we go. Oh, March 20. Okay, thank you. See, I knew there was some math. Rare doesn't do these weird numbers for no reason. There was something going on. Thank you for that, chat. I appreciate that. Right on. Okay, so... Um, what else do we got here? So, yeah. So, as you can see right there, um, there's the new cannon. Uh, there's the hurdy... That sword's pretty cool with the whole skull in it. That looks like the Gold Hoarder skull. Uh, uh, the, the, the Gold Hoarder skeleton skull, at any rate. Um, okay, so combat balance improvements. They've been tweaking the crap out of combat lately. Um, wielding weapons. Whoosh. I need some weapons. I need some props. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for some good props. I've been looking and I haven't found anything cool yet. I might talk to Nerd Propellant about getting me a pistol. Well, anyway. Uh, wielding weapons. The forced delay has been removed when wielding a gun after sprinting or undocking? Or undocking, allowing players to fire sooner. Um, the force delay when switching weapons still remains uh, to prevent fast switching between weapons. So there was a delay from running where you couldn't attack right away. That delay is gone, but the delay between swipping, switching weapons is still there. So you still got to fumble around with your things. Ahoy there, ahoy. I'm honestly not looking forward... You're honestly not looking forward to doing more Reaper runs. I didn't like them either, to be honest. Um, a lot of people like them, but I wasn't a big fan. I'm not huge into PvP anymore, because um, I'm getting better. I'm getting a lot of practice, but I'm just not the best with a controller still. It's taken me a long time to sort of get into the, the flow of a controller properly. Okay, moving on, moving on. Um, sword switching. Players are now able to switch weapons or items at any point during light sword attacks. Players are still prevented from switching during heavy sword swing. Sword attacks. So like the lunges, I guess. I guess that's what the heavy lunge is. Um, I'm assuming that means that you can pull bananas out easier. You know what I mean? I guess that's what they're getting at. Is you can be able to pull out a banana or your compass quickly without being such a delay. I don't know why you'd want to pull your compass out in the middle of a sword fight, but a banana, you, you, you want to expose your banana all the time. You know, that's what it's all about, whipping them bananas out. Okay. Uh, updates. Here we go. Ooh, this is a good one. I should have gotten a picture for this one. I don't have a picture. I'm sorry. Um, molten. Hold on. Let me get my thing here. Molten Sands. Your poor ears. Molten Sands Fortress is now open. Ladies and gentlemen, that's some freaking good news. I was actually, I literally said that last night to my mate. I'm like, is Molten Sands open yet? It's open, guys. As of today, Molten Sands is wide open for the, for the plundering. God, I can't wait to go in there and check that out. I do PvP and pr provoke, but I don't go looking for fights. Um, absolutely. I, I like the game. I'm not... I don't I don't go and screw players over all the time. Um, if somebody farts with me and shoots at me first, I'm sending you to Davy Jones, boy. Um, but uh, I don't... Uh, I don't go looking for trouble, you know? I just... Uh, I have... I have gone looking for trouble, but not very often. It's not really my forte. I just like having fun with my friends. The fortress is going to be crazy, man. With like... With, oh, God. I don't even want to talk about the fortress. The fortress is going to be nuts, man. With freaking an active volcano on the fortress? Oh my god. That's going to be... The rewards in there better be well worth it because that is freaking nuts. Uh, what up, Casper? In the chat, some regulars, man. Some reggies. My regular crew hanging out with me today. Okay, so Molten Sands is open. That is freaking awesome. And there's going to be like... It's going to be like full of ashen rewards. You know that shit's going to be worth a lot of money. Um, okay, Mercenary Cosmetic Bundle. Uh, previously, exclusive Mercenary Cosmetic Bundles are now available to be purchased at the outposts across the world, wilds, ancients, 
Shores, and the Roar uh, to purchase mercenary clothing, pistols, cutlasses, etc. from Outpost stores. Um, I don't know about this. This is mercenary clothes? What the hell is a mercenary cosmetic? I, uh, I feel like I missed the boat on that one. Jetty, how you doing? Uh, now we have to do this commendation to get... Yeah, I like the new sails. The new sails are cool, man. Um, I don't have a picture because I'm a freaking jackass. I seen them somewhere. They were pretty cool, man. I seen the picture. Why didn't I take a picture of those damn things? Anyway. Oh, I know where I seen it. I seen it on Twitter this morning. That's why. It's not on the damn thing. Okay. Almost through the patch notes here. Uh, Xbox mouse and keyboard support is in today. So, if you own one of these things... Sorry, I'm knocking everything over. And I don't even actually have a mouse. I literally use a uh, a, a ball mouse. This friggin' monstrosity um, with my left hand. All thanks to Mr. Jetty Swagger there in chat. He was very kind and sent me this bad boy as a gift. And fucking, I love it, man. You have changed my world. My right hand is a frickin' mess and I cannot mouse anymore. And now I can mouse with my left hand. Maybe right for you because the frickin' stuff is swapped on the screen. But hey... Thanks again, Mr. Jetty. I love it. I love it, and I use it every day. Um, we're part of the friend. Yeah, see, I didn't see what those clothes were, um, and I did do the plant friends play free thing a little bit, so eh, I I'm cool that I'm going to get some of those, even though I kind of missed out on them while they were happening. Okay. Xbox chat pad support. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, God, I can't get my... Oh, there we go, it was stuck. That's that little keyboard that sticks in under your guys' Xbox controller, yeah? So you guys can now type shit. Now you can say dirty words in the frickin' chat. Don't say dirty words, man. Don't be jerks to people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Uh, where do you go to pick up the new stuff? Uh, it doesn't say. I'm assuming just the shops that they're... Like, clothing shops for clothing, tools for tools. Uh, check Duke. Duke will have a few new things, uh, and the shops, the assorted shops, will have their things. Uh, new player onboarding improvements, improvements, improvements. Um, the final onboarding pop-up informing players to purchase their first voyage now persists on the screen until the onboarding is complete. So this is like this new player tutorial thing. I'm I'm a freaking pirate legend, so I have no idea what this is about. Um, but. They're fixing, they're working on that. Uh, interactive player detection, improving detection and, what? Detection and disconnection of inactive players. Oh, oh, oh inactive player detection. Oh, okay, get rid of them AFKers, man. That's why people put, they literally stick rubber bands on their controllers so they spin around in circles. Ever seen a guy doing that? That's what's going on. They don't want to go AFK. They're just running to the bathroom and don't want to get kicked. Um, construction in progress. Works. Work appears to have been gun, begun around arch rock formations. What could they be building? Ho, 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 ho. I bet you, I bet you a, a, a shiny new gold coin that it's the arena. I bet you anything. So, um, that's the end of the basic patch note. There's a couple of... Oh! Booty! My favorite! I love the booty! LC Texas, thank you very much! Happy birthday to Sea of Thieves, indeed! Hey, what's a, what's a birthday with a little gift? Thank you! Woo! Which outpost... It's not going to be an outpost. It's going to be a new a new place. My guess is they're going to take some random rock formations that's kind of in the middle of nowhere and build on that. That's my guess. Thank you, Tex. Thanks, you, Tex, though. You're a... Uh, 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 I don't know. You're awesome. Thank you. I can't think of the words. I'm literally just waking up. I did not get good sleep last night. I was literally sailing with my mate, Jetty, until about 4 o'clock in the morning. And, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> That's just the way she goes sometimes. But I'll tell you this, 
I've been working on something new. Not only something new, but... Oh, God, this is actually a problem. I seen this thing in the trailer. I'm not going to address it because I don't want to talk about it until I make my video. And I'm still going to make my video. But I seen a teaser for what I'm making my video about in this damn trailer that I'm about to freaking play here in a moment. Oh, my God, it just freaking... It's a problem. I wish I didn't... I almost wish the Pioneers wasn't a thing. I know things that I can't tell you. I know things that I can't do speculation videos about. I want to do speculation videos, but I know things, so I can't say them. And if I say them the way I want to speculate, I'm leaking. It's a weird spot, a weird position that I'm in right now, being a content creator that wants to speculate and actually knowing what's coming. It's, it's, it's a wonky spot, man. Like carts, for example. Um, I don't know carts. I got lucky, okay? My carts video and opening chests videos um, were pure speculation. And in this video, I see them opening a chest. So I'm not freaking crazy. <laughs> I might be a little crazy, but I'm not wrong. Okay. Fixed issues. Um, ah, the resolving that weird... Um, uh, what? Resolving an issue preventing players from switching to an item or weapon. Or blah, 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 blah. Sound and visual clipping of... Blah, 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 blah. Um, some... Okay. Patch notes are below. If you guys want to go read all the little tits and tits and whistles of all the little tiny, tiny, tiny things that have been fixed, you go right ahead. I'm not going to go through those things because you guys have been patiently, patiently waiting. You want to talk about the trailer. And I don't blame you. That trailer gave me the goose bumples. Whatever the heck that is, it gave them to me. So let me pull up this video here. Hold on, hold on. Um, I don't know how to make the sound come through without it coming through the mic as well, just a little bit, so bear with me. The video sound is going to be a little bit off just because of the way I have to present this because I want to be able to stop, pause, and rewind and talk about things in this trailer. So, the trailer is 58 seconds. I'm going to play the trailer in its entirety. I know, huge. And then I'm going to go back and we're going to pause and look and talk about stuff. Okay? Sound good? You guys ready for this? So, let me pull up the video view. I'm just going to go full screen for the first playthrough here. And then uh, I'll shrink it back. Come on, what's going on? Oh, it's locked. I'm like, I can't move it. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're going to go with that. That's going to have to be big enough. Here we go. I'll try to shut up for a minute. Oh my god. Are you guys half as excited as I am for that? Oh my good god. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to the beginning of this bad boy here, because there's just too much to go over. Hello, honey bud. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I left dishes out last night, and she's like, giving me shit. Okay, I left them on a chair, even. Okay, so let's go over this trailer here, inch by inch, shall we? Let me look at the chat here for a second. Uh, the arena is... Da, 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 da. Um, I got horny because of the printable clothing. What? Paintable? Paintable clothing? Is that for real? Did I miss something? I might have missed something. Okay. So, right off the bat here, we got fishing. Fishing! Of course we got fishing. Now look at this. 
I want to talk about this for a second. Look at this chest. Oh, they opened it. Look at that. Let's watch that one more time. Okay. If you guys want to check out a video, check this out afterwards. I did a video about opening chests. And I know a little something about this chest that I'm not going to say. All I'm going to say is check out my video. That's it. That's all I'm going to... That's all I... That's all I can... That's what I'm saying, man. This is a double-edged sword. I know lots about this chest. I know all about it. I know its whole freaking story, everything. But I can't say anything. All I can say is it's a chest, and it opens. Check it out, man, because it's opening right there on screen. And I did a video about opening chests. That's a little bit relevant to this, so you should check that out. So I did a lot of work on that video, man, and I didn't get a lot of views on it. So please, go give it a, go give it a thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate that when you're done. When you're done, don't leave me yet. <laughs> Okay, so next we got... What do we got next here? Harpoons! Okay, we got a guy fishing while you're moving. That's pretty amazing. Those sails look pretty sweet. This is like so much going on in this picture, right? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's soak it all in. We got harpoons in those front slots. Ugh! Yes! Yes! Harpoons! Do you know what this is going to mean? This is going to mean harpooning sharks. This is going to mean harpooning ships. Hopefully pulling treasure chests off of other people's ships. And maybe harpooning your buddies off the beach. I don't know. Um, oh my god. Harpoons, harpoons, harpoons. Oh my god. Hopefully we can go whale fishing. And, and, and like do some cool stuff like that, man. Uh, I, the, the sheer endless possibilities with harpooning things is just... Ugh. Oh, I love this new tool. Thank you, Rare. Harpoons are something that we have been crying for for a very long time. It's not grappling hooks. It's not quite the boarding mechanic that we were sort of begging for, but I think it fits the build just nicely. And it's going to help slow down uh, ship chases a little bit. It's going to help do a couple of weird things. Um, it's going to change ship combat. Ship combat is going to change a lot come this mega update, as you can see. Hunting as a new faction. I hope so. I hope so. And, oh, yes, thank you for that. If you look carefully, I, I can't really... I guess I could zoom it in a little bit. But check this out, man. That girl is holding a book in her hand. A book? What are you saying? A book? That ain't no map, mates. That is a book. What could that be? Hmm. I wonder. You guys can speculate about that one in chat. But she is holding a book. And she's got a weird chest beside her. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Hmm. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, my God. Harpoons. Fishing while you're moving. Oh, my God. i got to say it one more time. Fishing while you're moving. Look at that. Your baits can, can fish overboard and catch some something for us to eat while we're traveling long distances. Finally. Something to do. Oh. The vegans are going to stop playing. <laughs> I'm a little bit... I tell you, adding food, meat to the game is a double-edged sword for me. Um, I'm going to miss all the banana jokes. For real. The bananas are life right now in this game. And soon, the banana jokes are going to disappear. There's going to be no more banana rebreather re jokes. There's going to be no more bananas fix everything jokes. They're going to disappear. Because there's too many other types of foods, and honestly, bananas are only going to be one type. I have a funny feeling that they're going to implement maybe hunger and sickness and things like if you eat, probably if you eat raw meat, because like cooking is coming, so I bet you if you eat raw meat or something, you get sick, and then you eat, need to eat like fruit to balance it out, or if you eat too much meat, you get the scurvy, and then you need to eat some bananas to freaking, you know, something like that. That would make some sense. I believe that's coming. Um, now you can slap people with fish. I hope so. I truly hope that you can hold fish up and, like, if you can have fish fights or something and slap people with fish or something, oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Oh, that'd be too funny. I know the banana jokes aren't going to disappear, but it's not going to have that same banana punch that they got right now because it's it's everything. It's our food. It's our healing. It's rebreathing. It's a scuba tank. It's everything. There's a lot of banana jokes. A banana a, a day keeps the skeletons away. These are going to disappear a little bit. A little bit. Not Just not have the same impact that they used to. And that's okay. That's okay. 
Oh, you got to go. Thank you for stopping by me, ship. You can take the rowboat out back if you need. <laughs> the banana boys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the banana boys. All right, let's 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 continue here a little further. Oh, I got somebody here. Hold on. Bah. I think I know who it is. I'm going to tell them to shut up for about 10 minutes until I finish my episode. It is a Mr. Paul. All right, you're going to have to sit down. Oh, shit. The vents collapsed. Holy fuck, my apartment's a mess. Okay. So here, Paul, you do me a favor. You're going to have to just sit right here and shut your... Uh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Somebody's just boarded me ship. It's one of my buddies. Okay, so... Let me look at my chat here for a second. Hungering, thirst, hungering, and hunger and thirst could be annoying depending on how it's implemented. I hope they don't implement it in that same god awful way that <clears throat> um, Atlas. <clears throat> Atlas. <clears throat> I don't even want to talk about that game. <clears throat> it makes me sick. Anyway, that game made it awful. It made it a pain in the ass. I really hope this isn't a pain in the butt. I hope it's just a funky new mechanic that gives you more health or less health, depending on if you cook or don't cook, etc. Hopefully they don't make it too bad, because, yeah, that would suck if they started making it so you needed nutrition and vitamins and you got to balance it out. Ugh. Gross. Gross. It was awful. And water, man? Don't make us drink water. Don't make us drink water. At least let us let drink the seawater, please. I think we need grog. That's all we need. It's just the grog. The grog helps keep the scurvy away anyway. Ahoy, mates. Welcome aboard. So anyway, here. Let's let's look at this here for just a quick second here. What else that, What else have we got? Oh, did you see that? All of those cannonballs hit that mast. And look what happens to that poor man. Oh, she fell down. Okay, we got to talk about this for a second. You can break ship parts coming up soon. Um, since they only showed the mast, that's all I'm going to talk about. <laughs> Again, like I said, I know things that I can't talk about, but they showed the mast, so let's talk about that mast for a second. Let me pull that back just a quick second so it's on screen. There we go. You hit the masts, they fall over. Boom! You got to somehow get them back up and fix the damn things before you can sail again. Um... Now, if you are on a galleon, for example, if you get a mast knocked down and you got two other masts, you can still sail away. You're just slower. But in a sloop, you only got one sail, my friend, and if that puppy goes down, you are dead in the water until you fix it. Um, yeah. Sloops are going to be... Sloops are, are, are going to have a hard time with this one. Um, uh, uh, but if you got a two-man crew, you'll be fine. Um, this is really, really, really going to change ship combat a lot. People are really, really going to have a hard time with this and a fun time with this. Um, keeping keeping uh, 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 powder kegs up in your crow's nest is no longer the best idea because your mask can go down at any second. Or it's at least now a gamble. It's not a guaranteed safe spot anymore. Rip solo players? No way. No way. Um, it's gonna be hard though. I got I got to admit they they might need to do some tweaks um, for solo players. But we got a month to wait, a month and a bit, a month and like a freaking week to wait until this damn uh, update actually comes out. So that's okay. But oh my god, this is really gonna change. So like a ship's leaving, it's trying to get away. You or, or like you show up and you know it's about to leave. You just bombard that freaking mast and boom! Now they're slow as molasses. And you can catch them and sink them. Boom! It's gonna it's gonna change stuff, man. It's really gonna change stuff. Um, oh, you like my you like my thumbnail? I made that thumbnail about six months ago. That is a prototype um, art piece of the fishing rod. And as soon as those little fishing uh, uh, sorry um, outposts they're not called outposts sea posts. As soon as the sea posts were implemented back when Forsaken Shores dropped, um, I, me and my mate, that's my mate Jetty, my first mate sitting there with the fishing rod, I made him sit down, I made him, I asked him to sit down so I could take that screenshot, and then I photoshopped in the fishing rod and made it look like a fishing video for a fishing promo video that I was going to do. 
and it just sat around forever, and I figured this was a good spot to use it. Uh, R.I.P. Literally the only thing crews can do with gunpowder barrels. Uh, I can't even the boat. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, uh, it's, is, this is going to piss people off and amaze people at the same time. I guarantee there's going to be people on both sides of the scale for this. There's going to be people that are definitely upset uh, with how um, much more difficult this is going to make ship combat. But it's fair in the aspect that you can do it to them as well if you get good. So you're going to have to get good, scrubs. <laughs> okay, there's still a little more here to talk about. Not much more, but there's a few more things, I think. Ah. Okay. That, my friend, is some arena. I've been playing the arena with my mates. And, uh, let me tell you, it is fun as hell. Fun as hell. I had the most amazing round the other day. And I can't tell anybody about it. I can't talk about it. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. We sunk a whole bunch of ships and we won, and it was beautiful. That's about all I can say. Um, I can show you the picture here of the arena. That's the. I can tell you this. That's the spot where you turn in your loot. And there's some ships. That's about all I can say again. Actually, I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's a spot where you turn in loot. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Uh, oh my good golly I want oh, okay I want to talk about this for a second that room that room my friends was in the first trailer you guys remember that trailer where they showed brave or a brave heart flame heart and he was in that room with all those skeletons and that art that that uh, 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 carved archway look at this again for a second that's the room that's either the room, or it's a dungeon of some sort, and that door just slammed on them. Check that out. Let's look at that one more time. That's pretty cool. And stars, man? I don't know what's going on there. I'm not even going to try to speculate on that one just yet. Leave that alone. Traps. Oh my god, please be traps. I got a video coming out about traps soon, so subscribe. Listen to the crab. He knows what he's talking about. Fishing, oh my god. I played fishing. It's fun. It feels good. Look at this. You can hot tub bath. You can surf the shark with the harpoons. Oh my god, oh my god. There's too much to talk about. Too much to talk about. Okay, so let me get this video view out of the way. Wow. Wow, rare. I will say this. Um, they didn't disappoint. Although, I will say this one thing. I'm going to say one thing about this. I knew everything in this trailer. I was really hoping they were they had something they were hiding. They weren't even telling pioneers yet that they were going to show us something new. And the reality is, I've seen everything in that trailer already. I've played with all those mechanics, and they're friggin' wonderful. Wonderful! Next month is going to be a glorious month on the seas. This is starting a brand new whole, uh, 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 a new golden age of piracy, man. It's coming. This this next big update, when this thing drops, is going to change the seas forever. Uh, ship combat is going to be crazy. The arena, uh, uh, oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Harpoons. Freaking pets are coming soon. Um, I mean, I don't know when pets are coming, but we know they're coming. People bitching about, I say, read all these threads. People saying, micro transactions. Showing that Drake meme, like, no way, microtransaction. Come on. This game has given us more than your 60 bucks worth of frickin' fun. And you know what? Microtransactions are an optional thing. Pets are not going to make you win the game. Pets are going to be a frickin' fun thing for you if you want them. So you know what? I'll gladly shell over 10 bucks or 15 bucks for a cool pet. You know what? Why wouldn't I? Why not? I like this game. I'll support them a little bit. I'm not going to buy 20 pets, but I'd probably buy one, maybe two. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You want the Shrouded Ghost, Meg? As do I. As do I. March 
28th is the pirate Le is it pirate legend day march 29th pardon me i read that wrong um if you don't want to join the insider program that's pretty clear it needs to be a ton of yep um monkey pop bye pet one day holy crap chat's just exploding uh, 15 bucks for a pet. Yeah, I don't, I don't think 15 bucks. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm Canadian too, so that's like five dollars for you guys, Americans. Um, it's actually about ten. Um, I, I'm guessing. If I had to guess, and I'm a guessing man, I like guessing. If I had to guess, I would guess that the pets are gonna be ten dollars. They're gonna be about nine bucks. That's my guess. And you know what? I, I have a funny feeling that they're gonna give away a free pet to everybody from, from a quest. That's what I think. I think everybody's gonna get a basic pet, like a bird. Everybody gets a frickin' parrot. That's it. Everybody gets a parrot, but if you want a monkey, if you want an octopus, if you want a cat, if you want a dog, if you want a frickin' snake or whatever the heck else, or a, a little baby shark that sits on your shoulder, or whatever the hell the pets are gonna be, who knows? Those you're gonna have to pay for. Or you get a single type of pet and you can buy skins for your pet, which also would be cool. I wouldn't mind having the same cat forever and just buying different skins for him, like how we buy different clothes for our pirates. That'd be cool, right? That's a good way for them to continue to make people to buy buy things, make little $2 pet clothes, make new clothes for your pets for a buck ninety nine or something like that, right? People would buy that. Um, I'm not trying to condone... Um, microtransactions as, as, a, as a business plan, but uh, you know, if Rare is going to continue to give us these kinds of updates, they need to continue to get a little bit of money from us. And I 100% support it. If they want to freaking take 5 bucks from me, 10 bucks from me for a cool pet, I'll give it to them gladly. They've earned it. You think the blooms? No, that's not true. The doubloons are not going to be microtransactions. There's going to be a whole new currency uh, 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 designed around the microtransactions. Doubloons are sort of like, I guess, an in-game microtransaction, but there's no money involved, so that doesn't. That's different. A fancy monkey would be cool. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I feel like skeleton, skeleton skin, so you can have a skeleton monkey on your shoulder, or a monkey in a little suit dressed up with a little cute pirate hat. How adorable would that be? People would pay five bucks for that. You better believe it. And uh, uh, I would pay five to ten bucks for awesome skins too. Yeah, see what I'm saying? That, that sounds fair. Like I don't want it to be. I don't want it to be much. I don't think they want it to be much because they want people to buy it. You know? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, what? what I have no idea. I don't play that trash game. But like, what do Fortnite skins cost? I, I I don't. I from what I understand anyway, it doesn't even work. Like you can't just buy a skin. You gotta buy points. And then use the points or something? I don't fucking know. Par pardon my French. Uh, I don't play that game. It's trash. <laughs> it's not my kind of game. Although I did, I will admit, I have played it. I played it when Thanos showed up. That Thanos thing with the Infinity Gauntlet crossover was freaking cool. I played it for a little bit of that, and then I left. Because it was dumb after that. I don't like the game. I just thought, i seen some videos of that, and I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway, folks... Um, I definitely had a longer stream than I intended because I got stuff to do. I got my buddy sitting here waiting ever so patiently. Um, so I'm going to have to go, I think, guys. I think I've covered all the, the patch notes. Subscribe to Jesse Tattoo. Like my video. Come on, go down there and like it if you liked it. I cannot stress that enough. Spending 10 seconds, 5 seconds to go down there and hit that like button helps my discoverability a lot and means a lot to me. If you like it, honor my time and effort by liking it. I'm not asking you to give me a back rub. I'm not asking you to give me money. Just go down there and like the video, man. Simple. That helps a lot, and I appreciate it. So thank you all. I appreciate all of you. Happy birthday. See you, thieves. I'm not going to sing again because it was terrible the first time. Um, and uh, go check out Falcor's birthday card, man. Falcor did this birthday video. Um, check out all of Twitter today. There's going to be a lot of cool birthday gifts being dropped by the community. Um, I'm in a group of creators that have been making some pretty cool gifts.
four rare, and that video that Falcor produced is one. There's a song coming out from Die Fox pretty soon. That happy birthday song. Uh, we all sing something. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag until he lets that video out. It might even be out already. I don't know. I'm going to check it out. So, like this. Respect to all of you mates on the seas. Thank you all, and I'll see you real soon. A couple days, I'll be coming back at you with some more Sea of Thieves action. You know it. Cheers, mates. Go, ho, ho, and the bottom.